50 did not win Best New Artist at the Grammys. There was nothing bigger than 50. Nothing bigger, and nobody, yeah. nobody since maybe like Snoop came out the gate mm -hmm. like that. I sold 12 million records. It's the largest debut in hip hop album to date, and I was overlooked, and I still don't have a Grammy. It's been 13 nominations. Their kids gonna wanna be 50 Cent if they acknowledge the material. Mm. So they don't mm. give you the trophies. I got the checks, I didn't get the trophies. Mm. Jay got all the trophies, man. That's because he signed that contract. What contract? The one with Beyonce. Ladies and gentlemen, please assemble. Curtis Jackson, or 50 Cent, is enraged at your favorite musical power couple, Jay-Z and Beyonce. While they did not explicitly state that he thinks it, 50 Cent recently suggested that people could take another aim at Jay-Z and Beyonce. Recently spoke with XXXL on the impact that relationships of all shapes and sizes have in the music industry. He focused on how those connections lead to performance opportunities, releases, and, in the case of Hove and Bay, honors. The, 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 in, even Jay-Z's career, you can look at that and say the association to Beyonce is when he started to receive the 16, well, I think that's 16, 17 grams. When it comes to Jay-Z's career, furthermore, the New York rapper claimed that Jay is only one of the Grammy's most decorated artists because of his marriage to a superstar. Of course, Fifth and the Rock Nation boss haven't always gotten along, so this is tinged with bias. In response to the music industry's biases, the 48-year-old rapper turned film producer stated, the same concept with the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl. See, they don't understand the relationship. They was trying to get him to do the Super Bowl without me. The 2022 Super Bowl halftime show was not going to happen, according to 50 Cent. Then, almost quickly, he shifted gears to praise. It's fine if the award shows don't give me any trophies. Kids even have Grammys. Like they don't, they don't sing yet. They don't sing. Right. <laughs> they don't rap yet. <laughs> and they already have Grammys. Jay Z and Beyonce's children already have Grammys. They don't sing yet. They don't rap yet. But they already have Grammys and SD. So they say, give them this trophy, so we know they'll come to the awards event. That much meant a lot to the culture. They simply handed them the items. Clearly, the G-Unit founder is fed up with how the music industry runs and alleges, however indirectly, that the awards are rigged based on who they want to win and why. He added, because what I was saying was the content was raw enough, and who I am, my experience is a little bit abrasive to conservatives. I haven't had many experiences that Jay-Z hasn't had. What I'll say is that he's inward, a quiet person, and you don't see that. You are not aware of the energy that exists in that surroundings. People later look back and honor those things. It didn't matter to me at the moment. I was like, don't give me the prize because I'm fit. What is the point? They didn't award me best new artist despite the fact that I sold 13 million copies. That is the most successful debuting hip hop album. They don't want their children to be like 50 Cent. For almost two decades, hostility has simmered between the two rap icons, from their early 2000s battle for hip hop supremacy to their competitive temperament in the corporate world. The partnership of 50 and Ho had a difficult start. On his controversial 1999 song, How to Rob, a then-rising fifth spoke about standing up to his rap contemporaries, including Jay-Z what? Jigga only sold 4 milli. He has a reason to live slash doesn't want to end up putting the four through the Bentley coupe door. He spat. During his performance at Hot 97 Summer Jam that year, the Rockefeller co-founder retaliated by debuting It's Hot, on which he rapped. Go against Judy Yo ass is dense slash. I'm about a buck, and the F is 50 cents. Years later, in an interview with Angie Martinez, Jay Z claimed that he had spoken to 50 people backstage at the festival, and it was all positive. Hobbs' answer even helped 50 advance his growing career. In 2003, he told Rolling Stone, When I responded, I was complimented. He wouldn't say anything to someone he didn't believe was attractive. I never turned on the radio again until he said that about me. I'm not sure where my career would be if he hadn't responded. By 2003, the competition between 50 Cent and Jay-Z had evolved from unquestioned champion vis up-and-coming challenger to what felt more like two equals. After his smash hit Day Club and blockbuster debut album, Get Rich or Die Tryin', the Queen's New York native catapulted to global popularity. Go, 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 go. Jinka put his whole Rockefeller roster on notice with the Dr. Dre produced ballad, which topped the Billboard 200 and has since been certified nine times platinum. Man, I'm telling you, man, y'all better, y'all better, y'all got a chance right now. Just flood it, put out a lot of music.
Everyone was in the studio, and I told them, man, you got a chance right now. Just flood it with music because 50 Cent is on his way. In a 2013 interview with The Breakfast Club, Jay recalled, it was about four months later when In Day Club came out. It was as if everyone had to sit on the sidelines and wait for the tidal wave to pass. Jay-Z, ever the strategist, appears to have decided to keep his adversaries closer by touring with 50 Cent on the Rock the Mick Tour in 2003. To promote their individual shoe partnerships with the sports giant, the pair even freestyled together in a Reebok ad. I told y'all I was finna blow like C4, stuntin' the G5, flyin' the G4, T unit footwear, T apparel, I'm so hood, that blue when that white looks so good. Despite the fact that they were wearing the same brand, 50 later boasted about his G unit Reebok shoes outselling Jay's S Carter boots 6 to 1, have also opted out of their combined tour's extended run, which coincided with his retirement plans at the time. We cross brand, we boss about it, man. Got the soul of the old Gucci's. If you upset, sue me. If not, sit back and watch me do. The pair's only other musical collaboration came 40 years later, when Jay Z and Diddy collaborated on a remix of 50 Cent's 2007 single, I Get Money. But the gunfire continued to ring out as Hov reminded 50 that the Big Apple was still his. Despite the fact that both men have turned away from music over the years, with 50 remaking himself as a TV tycoon, and Jay becoming a multi-billionaire who occasionally still blesses the mic. Insults between the New York Titans have lingered. Fifth made a shot at Hov in an interview with DJ Envy after Lil Mama ruined his and Alicia Keys' performance at the 2009 MTV VMAs, suggesting it was because he's no longer imposing. He's far more approachable, he claims, it's the Beyonce and, I don't know, Sinatra atmosphere he's attempting to project that has people willing to step on his platform. The podcast also includes 50's most recent comments about Jay, including his harsh appraisal of his 2017 album 444. I thought the SD was 8, but I'll keep it a secret for now. The SD was far too astute. He stated, I felt like I should be wearing glasses, SD, a tie, and an ink sweater around my waist. It was an Ivy League school. That ST reminded me of golf course music. While their feud never reached the heights of their feuds with Ja Rule and Nas, the animosity between 50 Cent and Jay-Z has produced some genuinely memorable moments while keeping fans fascinated for many years. According to 50, Have was never a significant threat to him when he was at the peak of his powers. There has never been a 50 Cent. In 2009, Jay-Z told Tim Westwood that there was a tremendous difference in energy worldwide between 50 Cent and Jay-Z, and that there was no competition between the two of them. His best-selling album sold around 430,000 copies. My best-selling records, two of them, sold 5 million copies. That's Get Rich or Die Trying and The Massacre, respectively. However, 50 Cent is hardly the first musician to say that award presentations are rigged. Some of music's top stars have long had a beef with the industry's biggest night. The Wheat, a mellow-voiced Canadian crooner, is one of them. Following his widely publicized exclusion from the Grammys in 2021, The Wheat has chosen to boycott the awards show in the future. The R&B superstar was considered a strong contender in the big four categories, including Album of the Year for his fourth LP, After Hours, which spent four consecutive weeks at number one on the Billboard 200 as well as Record of the Year and Song of the Year for his smash hit, Blinding Lights, which became Billboard's biggest Hot 100 song of all time. However, when the 2021 Grammy Award nominations were announced on November 24, 2020, the Grammys remained crooked. You owe it to me, my followers, and the industry to be transparent. In his second Twitter message, he stated that he went from arranging a Grammys performance to being denied, and that he had been cooperatively planning a performance for weeks before being denied. In my perspective, if there are no nominations, you are not invited. And has refrained from tweeting. As an artist, when I see the Grammys approaching and I'm not involved or invited, I wonder if it's me, my music, or just another technicality. I gaze around with admiration and curiosity. Is it true that I am unworthy? Then I glance around and notice five Grammys staring back at me, so I head to the studio. Even Nicki Minaj, arguably the best female rapper of all time, has complained about award bias. 
In 2020, the New York native took to Twitter, writing, Never forget the Grammys didn't give me my Best New Artist award when I had seven songs simultaneously charting on Billboard and a bigger first week than any female rapper in the last decade, and went on to inspire a generation. They gave it to Bon Iver, a white dude. So evidently, 50 is correct. These award events are allegedly manipulated in favor of celebrities such as Jay-Z and Beyonce. One fan responded to 50 Cent's claim by tweeting, he's right, the Grammys are nothing more than a rigged popularity contest, like all Hollywood award shows. According to another fan, I stopped caring about the Grammys because they're genuinely so rigged that it doesn't matter anymore. To be honest, I hope the Grammys break apart. That's all there is to it. Do you think award shows are rigged to favor specific performers? Mention your thoughts in the comment section below. If you liked this video, then share it to your friends and family members. Also if you are new viewer on our channel, then unsus subscribe our channel for more celebrity news and gossips. Thanks for watching our video, that's all for today, goodbye.